Welcome back to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from downtown Buford and beautiful low country produce. I'm joined this afternoon by Mike Gonzalez, who's the board chair for the Boys and Girls Club of Northern Buford County. Welcome to the show, Mike. Thank you. Nice to nice having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know we're here to talk about a big event and fundraiser that you all are putting on here in Buford. Um, we're going to talk about Notes, which is an evening of musical storytelling and, and casual conversation, which is taking place downtown Buford on Saturday, January the 9th. 2016. Wow, we're almost there, That's right? That's right. We are almost there. The year's <laughs> going fast. It is. It has gone by fast. So, really, tell us about uh, about that event, and, and it's one of your major fundraising events for the year in order to provide the services that you do to the Boys and the Girls Club. It is, Karen. It'll be our major fundraiser for the year. Uh, when we got involved with the Boys and Girls Club a little over a year ago, I realized that we didn't have a big fundraising event, mm -hmm. and so we put together an idea that helps us celebrate the arts in Buford. Wonderful. and combines visual arts uh, along with some performing arts into a very exciting gala that will uh, uh, feature great food, great, great, uh, great music, and uh, so we're very excited about it. It will, it will feature uh, at, at, the, at the, uh, the core of the event a guy by the name of Frank Almond, who mm -hmm. is the concert master of the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra. And Frank, as some people may remember, was the victim of an armed robbery back in January of 14, where he and his 300-year-old Stradivarius, um, uh, the, the Stradivarius was stolen. stolen. Yeah. He was shot. Luckily, it was a taser and not a gun. Uh, he's recovered, and, and the story ended nine days later with, with a happy note because it was recovered Covered, relatively yes. intact. So, wow, I mean, how did you convince someone like Frank to come to Buford in order to be um, part of Notes? I mean, what was that like trying to get someone of his caliber to come here and, and provide this um, sort of you know, entertainment? Well, Frank is a very dear friend of mine Excellent. as a result of me being a, a native of Milwaukee uh, in, the, in the last few years and also being involved on the board of the symphony orchestra in Milwaukee. So it was actually a very easy process to convince <laughs> Frank uh, based upon the, the cause that we have here with the Boys and Girls Club to get involved and do this event. So um, we've got him and the, the principal pianist of the Hilton Head Symphony, Michael Braz, that will be accompanying Frank. So that'll be the centerpiece of the evening, but we're trying to also involve local artists. And so what we've done is we've secured 15 local professional artists who are going to be donating works with their own representation of this 1715 Lipinski Stradivarius. Excellent. And those will be offered to us and available for auction, auction I was going to ask, right? Surrounding that will be uh, art done by students in the area from SCAD and USCB and others. Those will also be available. And then we've got our Boys and Girls Club kids that are doing their own representations of the Lipinski Strad. And so it's going to be surrounded by art. Uh, some of your viewers may be familiar with an upcoming artist by the name of Amiri Ferris. Uh, Mary will be there live that evening doing a piece live with a few of our Boys and Girls Club students uh, sketching and drawing with him. And at the end of the evening, there'll be a live auction for the piece that the Mary's done for us. Wow, holy cow. I mean, a lot going on. And talk about, you know, the whole range from um, the students who are serviced by the Boys and Girls Club here in Northern Beaufort County mm -hmm. um, to someone with the uh, caliber um, that, that Frank brings to the to this program. I'm, I'm I can't imagine that you would have any empty seats this evening. <laughs> well, we, we hope not. And, and, of course, the concert will feature music that Frank has recorded on a, two CDs. The first one was entitled A Violin's Life, which is all about the 300-year-old rich history of this treasured instrument. instrument. Absolutely. And so there's some great music uh, associated with the instrument over those, those 300 years. And so uh, we're really looking forward to it. Right, and so um, tickets are available now, yes? They are, they're available now. They need to call the office, and I'll refer to my notes here, but they of need course. to call the, the Boys and Girls Club at 843-379-5430. Talk to Mickey Schiffman in the Boys and Girls Club office. And there are a variety of sponsorships available, a variety of ticket packages available. Uh, the simplest way, if you're just attending with you or perhaps you and a, a, a friend, uh, tickets are at $200, but there are other levels available okay. with VIP seating and meet and packages greet with Frank and all and those so wonderful forth. things. Great. Absolutely, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, obviously you've set the bar quite high for this event. Um, mm. Look forward to seeing you there and, and what the Boys and Girls Club of Northern Buford County has in the future. But we would love to have you back as a guest um, sometime in the spring so we can learn more about what's going on here to service um, those children in Northern Buford County and how people, our viewers, um, can help support uh, the programs for the Boys and Girls Club. Good. I'd love to come back and tell you about it sometime. All right. Great. Thank you so much for being a guest with us this afternoon, Mike. We'll be right back with our next guest on North of the Broad.